I believe a, a couple of years ago you had a problem with your thumb and you were out there playing quarterback with a cast on. And there were a couple opportunities to make a play like you just did. So going back to talking about that moment, can you talk about the work that went into not only being there, and you were there a lot of times, but being there and making the catch this time? You know, I, it's just something I kind of work on after practice every day. You know, uh, kind of uh, things that we practice on, you know, I really kind of made that emphasis <clears throat> going into this year just to kind of, you know, make those type of plays, turn those all those PBUs and turn to picks, you know, and uh, <coughs> just having the opportunity to, uh, you know, turn that PBU into a, a pick and, a, you know, probably the most important game you know, this year, it, you know, it really meant a lot, and I'm glad it kind of it came out. So real, you know, uh, I came back to finish with these guys and just had the opportunity to kind of close the game out with that play. Uh, it is something that I've been working on, you know, great preparation. Uh, the coaches did a tremendous job with the game plan. And, uh, you know, like, like coach said, like, when you have the opportunity to make a play, you want to make a play. And, you know, I just had to do that. Finish, get that eighth win. I know that meant, meant a lot for the guys in the locker room, uh, and I felt like I kind of owed it to them, you know, because who am I to, you know, not finish this season up, you know? So, uh, so yeah, like it was a no brainer, you know. And I love football, and I get an opportunity to play the game I love, so why not, you know? Now that you kind of, you know, what is the school and this program meant to you? It's meant a lot. It's, it's really kind of it's really changed my life, you know. Just uh, coming from JUCO, you know, um, coming here, I knew I could, you know, change that, change this program around. And you know, from the COVID year to the last year to this year, you know, two back to back bowl bowl wins, and you know, it means a lot just to see that all my, you know, all the labor that we've done has come to you know fruition. And you know, it, Maryland definitely means a lot to me. Just how Lossie kind of gave me that opportunity to just come here and just mm-hmm. do what I love. And so that bond I built with those guys in that locker room, you know, it's a bond that can't be broken. And so yeah, I'm really, uh, I really appreciate Maryland. Is there a moment that sticks out to you where you can be like, this is what Maryland needs to do, this is getting back and on this program? You said one moment? Yeah. The moments like this, mm-hmm. you know, uh, last year bowl game, because uh, I don't think we didn't win a bowl game minute uh, last year so uh, you know get another one back to back so like moments like that that really kind of kind of catapult this program to the next level so hopefully hopefully you know they use that momentum and take that next step so what uh, coach talked about um, just like this team you know, compete for Big Ten title so some people might not be that but so I believe that do you, do you believe that of course uh, if y'all kind of remember what I said uh media day before the season, I said that a successful season looks like uh, us winning the Big Ten Championship, man. You know, we stand by that. And, you know, we just go continue to gradually get better each and every day. And I know those guys go put the work in. Coaches go do what they got to do. They go bring in, you know, some guys. But, you know, that's the goal every year is to win the Big Ten Championship. Uh, I feel like if you kind of, you know, set the bar a little low, and that's all you're going to get. Well, why not, you know, shoot for the stars and hit whatever you can. Jordan, where do you see those biggest differences from when you arrived in 2020 with the program to now? The brotherhood, uh, that's, that's kind of easy. Just kind of the bond that you have with the guy you left got to your right uh, is unbreakable. And just knowing that he's going to give his all, he's going to give his all, and you're going to give your all. And once we do that, and we just kind of, you know, communicate, talk to each other, and just be accountable for what we're doing out there, nothing, nothing can really stop this group. Back to the room.
Mr. Corey, there's been so much talk now about where this program is from where it was a few years ago. What does it mean to you to know that you're a part of this group that's helped take this program a big step forward towards winning those big time championships? Uh, it meant a lot. Uh, I really didn't really think that, you know, like other guys kind of felt that way about me because, you know, they kind of was talking to me yesterday after meetings. But, you know, just to uh, see how they, they, like, those guys kind of really appreciate, like, this group that kind of came in and kind of, you know, catapult this program. And so uh, it really means a lot, man. You know, I, you know, I'm kind of really speechless on what to kind of say because, uh, you know, without Maryland, I wouldn't even, you know, be in this position that I'm in right now. But I appreciate all those guys, all the coaches, all the staff, we're just giving this opportunity to just you know, do what I love. Last question. Corey, congratulations on the win. You guys have come to less than 300 yards of offense today, no touchdowns for North Carolina State. Is that the preparation that, that led to that outcome and keeping them off the board like that? Yeah. Preparation has just been intentional with everything we're doing. Uh, Coach B, though, kind of harp on, you know, just com communicating and uh, being disciplined. And, uh, we know as a group, like, we have a lot of, a lot of great players on that defensive side of the ball. And, if we just you know communicate, be disciplined on our assignment, and just know what to do and how to do it, uh, that just take us where we need to be, you know. So yeah.